gonna be doing a summary of all available uh, biomedical uh, data sets. This is quite a lot. Yeah, the good thing about uh, GPT-4 now actually providing uh, links. I'm uh, more familiar with the EEG ones that gave a... Uh, actually not know any of those, to know if they are legit or not. Let's provide the links now from where it actually took the information. So this is from a readme file from uh, six months ago. Looks like quite a comprehensive list of EEG datasets. Yeah, IEG.org is not on the list. Yeah, so this is on uh, publicly available EEG datasets on uh, OpenBCI. In this case, we have this NMT. This this name comes up a lot. A Scalp EEG dataset, open source uh, annotated dataset. Um, of healthy and pathological EEG recordings for predictive modeling. Now that's all nice and good. There's a standard montage, so that's nice. Some histograms on the population, age and uh, abnormal, normal EEG. That's that structure, that looks all great, but obviously one will be looking for the link to the actual data which must be hiding somewhere at the bottom of the article there it is when you open it it sends you to this uh, weird uh, university website that has some data set called repository download yeah that's obviously not related here it is halfway through the list I have code sitting on GitHub, and then you have this zip file sitting on uh, this chatbotmat.com. And when you open this one, it goes to GoDaddy. <laughs> you can buy chatbotmat.com for I don't know how much, um, and obviously the data is not available. So that's a zip file, um, you know, when linking from the paper is nowhere to be found. We of course can try the a GitHub. This also has link to the data set. It's from two years ago. Data folder labels, good doesn't seem to have the actual data. Right, this one now has a different link, which goes to the same thing, the chatbot smart. Are all of them on chatbot smart? No. Anyway, the links are just weird. Yeah, from all over the shop. So I'm not sure if this uh, data set is available anywhere. So yeah, that's what happens to most uh, of uh, public data sets. So this uh, lists here, I guess that only like 1% or so, under 10% of these data sets will actually be available. Some will require some sort of crazy registration and uh, some are just uh, essentially not be available anymore. Yes, we will be essentially creating a list like that and uh, indicating, you know, essentially some sort of uh, difficulty score of how easy it was or how difficult it was to actually get hold of the data. And once you do get hold of the data, the main question then is if the data is in its raw format or some sort of metadata, like downsampled or processed or whatever, which we do not like.